So we're here with the Visa, here with the Display HDR. And hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Roland Worcester. I'm the uh, chairman of the uh, Display HDR Standards Group. And this year at CES, we're making updates to the standard that we launched last year. So last year we had 400, 600, 1,000. And this monitor is a 1,000 nit monitor from ASUS. That is a 384 zone HDR display. Does the zone come into the standard or does the amount of zone doesn't, it not necessarily? We have requirements on the contrast capabilities. So yeah. the dynamic range inside the monitor. And so depending on the manufacturing design, you would have more or less zones and primarily based on price. So but the whole booth is about the display HDR. It's, uh, you're doing a lot of... Uh, this front half is display HDR and the yeah. back half of the booth is on display port. And uh, what is this one talking about? So this is the same demo. So this yeah. is an SDR uh, interface using DaVinci Resolve, which is one of the leading video editing applications. And that is the HDR output. And so you can easily see the difference between the SDR and the HDR in the preview window there. So uh, this um, display HDR 400, 600, 1000, does it mean pe the peak luminance? Yeah, that's the peak luminance as measured for a, a we, we test with a 10% patch in the middle of the screen, the luminance that can be achieved um, in, in this 10% box. We also have a whole list of testing requirements that are out on the displayhdr.org website. And so you can get a full set of details for all of the specs. So HDR is awesome. It's one of the coolest things, right? But That's it's also right. a mess. There's all these kind of different HDR. Is that why you're doing this standard? Yeah. So, so everybody's familiar with HDR10, but that's primarily a protocol that defines the, the metadata and the format of the data going from your PC to the display. But it doesn't define how good the display is going to be. And the display itself, we use these performance evaluations to determine 400, 500, 600, 1,000 for our different display HDR performance standards. There's also a new standard that we're launching this year at CES for true black, so display HDR true black, that is at 400 and 500, and that's for emissive pixel displays, such as OLED. So true black, 400, 500, what does that mean? So the true black is indicative of the fact that it is an emissive pixel display. And so emissive pixels are like OLED or micro LED. And so you can get absolute complete black on the screen. And that's what the true black spec is all about. Nice. Can we walk around here? Uh, there's some, some more demos around here. Um, you also talk about the 400, the 600, 1000? Yeah, 1000, 600, 400. So we launched these three standards last year, the 1000, the 600, the 400. And so we have, we have displays from all 10 of the top 10 PC display manufacturers now. But it's not just about peak luminance. There's lots of more stuff no, that goes color, into HDR. There's color, there's contrast. Yeah, there's a number of different requirements. So what do you check about the color and what do you check about the contrast? So the 400 spec requires that you have 95% of sRGB color spectrum. And the, the uh, 600, the 1000 and the true black specs require 90% of DCI-P3. And all this is only for the DisplayPort displays? How about no, the HDMI no, 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 displays? No, 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 it's, it's for any interface. So any interface. DisplayPort or HDMI, you can drive HDR over either interface. Uh, so you could have a, a HDMI only display that has display HDR there are, yes. 400 or 600 or yep, 1000? There, there, there is one from Dell that has only HDMI input and is display HDR certified. So is there a licensing going on with this or? You have to be a member of the VESA standards group, but once you're a member of the VESA standards group, then you can apply, uh, you can take a device through certification and then use the logo on the certified product. So there's a HDMI consortium, there's a display uh, VESA, VESA or VESA? Either, v they go VESA. by both. <laughs> and uh, um, so for example, uh, there's Intel that or let's say Intel is part of both, or part of just yep. one, or both. both. So why can the world just not just use one? What is, why is there two big? One uh, interface or the other? Yeah, why is it the two? <laughs> What's the story <laughs> the, the, behind the, the, uh, I don't know the original <laughs> history behind the two interfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, one is primarily used in the TV industry. One is used primarily in the PC industry. Right. And then some displays have both. And what's, what's the? 
This was a demo to show SDR versus HDR. Oh, but right. the what SDR monitor is not working. And what are you doing here? They're doing some. Uh, Playing in a very wide display. These are 32 by nine. Uh, these are 32 by nine aspect ratio uh, gaming monitors. So 144 hertz. It's uh, 4K wide, 1K high. 32 by nine aspect ratio. So it's exactly the same as two regular 27 inch monitors. If you have a 16 by nine 27 inch monitor, this is exactly the size of two of those, and it's curved as well. There's lots of gigabits going through these cables and stuff. Yes. Is it? Uh, how does it compare with the HDMI speeds and bandwidth? 18. So this is this is half the resolution of a 4K screen. Half. So half, okay. yeah, half the resolution of a 4K screen, but it's a higher frame rate. So right. it's pushing gaming frame rates. And uh, this is another one over here. We go over here. Um, there's a bunch of demos around here. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi. You're doing a Twitch? Yeah, Twitch. So this is you right here? Yeah, I'm live right now. Live right now. Sorry, I interrupt. You want to know for my song? Yeah, Because I'm yeah, a very fan of uh, Tom Nice. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> is it All right. That's a cool setup with three displays. Yeah. All right. And some of the other stuff that's around here, maybe you can introduce. Uh, uh, Actually, no. I don't know any of the details of that. So that's um, compression. Yeah, this is uh, V. Yeah. yeah, I really cannot okay. speak to those, I'm sorry.